most people use a VPN on their Fire Stick to unblock geo-restricted content on their favourite streaming services. So today I'm going to show you how I can use a VPN to do just that. The first thing we need to do is to install the VPN on our Fire Stick. To do this you want to go over to your app drawer on the home screen and then you want to open the application store. This will open the Fire Stick application store. From here we just want to go to the search panel on the very left, then you want to click on the search box and we want to search for the VPN we want to use. Today we're going to be using Private Internet Access VPN. So once you've searched for Private Internet Access this should be the first result. So you want to go ahead and click into it and here it will tell you more about the VPN and what it can do. From here you just want to go ahead and install it by clicking on the install button in the middle of the screen. And once it's installed you want to go ahead and open the VPN. Once the VPN application is open it will look like this. So you want to click on the login button in the middle of the screen and you want to log into your VPN account. If you don't have one you want to click on the link in the description below where you can go ahead and register for Private Internet Access VPN. So once you've entered your account details you want to click on login. So once you've logged in the VPN application will look like this. The very first thing we need to do is to go to the settings icon in the bottom right hand corner. And you want to click on protocol at the very top and change this to the WireGuard protocol. This is going to be a much stronger and faster connection, which is what you need when viewing HD content. So you want to go back, and now we want to use the VPN to unblock content. To do this, you just want to select a VPN server from anywhere around the world that you want to view that content in. So for example, if I want to watch Japanese Netflix, you want to select a Japanese server. As you can see, we currently have two Japanese servers, and you want to select the one with the lowest number. In this case, it's going to be Tokyo at 332 milliseconds. The lower the number, the stronger and more reliable connection you're going to get. So once you're ready, you want to click on it, and after a few seconds it will connect to that VPN server in that country. So all we need to do now is go back to our home screen, and we want to open an application we want to view content in. In this case, I'm going to open Netflix. And once you've opened the application, you may notice it looks exactly the same, and that's because we need to refresh the application. So you can either do this via the Amazon Stick settings, or in Netflix you can go all the way to the get help menu in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see where it says country slash language, it says GB and that's because I'm currently in Great Britain. However, to update this we need to refresh the application. So on Netflix we can go all the way down and you want to click on reload Netflix. And once Netflix has refreshed, its region version will be updated and you'll now be able to view content from that region version. So because I selected the Japanese version of Netflix, if I go back to the get help menu, as you can see where it says country slash language, it says GP, which is Japan. So I can go back to Netflix and I can start watching Japanese movies just as I normally would. Remember to use the link in the description of this video to register for Private Internet Access VPN. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on to one of me if I find it helpful as well. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.